Hi and welcome to today's tutorial on The Last Battalion. I am Gargeton, or and also known as Faster. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use um, the map and how to use the map tools in Armored Tree. Um, we had a training on this uh, yesterday. Um, but there's still other people that uh, need to know how to do this because there wasn't that many people that joined the training. So I'm going to go over this now. And this is a thing that everyone needs to know and it's going to be very frustrating if you are sitting in the game and someone is telling some chords to you and you don't know what the heck they're talking about uh, so it's easy to just sit now just watch through the video check if you can learn it if you can't learn it now then contact one of the admins and they will go more to depth and try to learn how to use the map but it should be pretty basic so Here's the map. I am currently here on the map. And so you guys can see, we have these large squares. First of all, we have these, these large squares that are here. They're pretty large. I think they are uh, 10,000 meters, um, if I'm not incorrect. And then you have these squares, which is 1,000 meters. And then you have these small squares, which is hundred meters um, so that's basically it and if you want to tell where you are you're not going to say that you are in this square or you are in this square because thousand meters is a pretty large area uh, hundred meters though if you would just say that you are in uh, zero uh, one seven uh, zero two nine everyone would understand that you are exactly there um, or there or there or there or there because 100 meters isn't that large but at some point say uh, you are standing there and you want a mortar right here then you don't want to just say 017029 to the mortar team and then they will start shooting mortars inside of this square just keep in mind you're still up here and if they're gonna shoot inside of this then they might shoot up here and they might shoot down here they might shoot over here so if you wanted to tell someone where exactly something is, then you will use the eight uh, digit grid. Uh, what we're using now is a six digit grid. Um, if you just want to say to your teammates where you are, you can do it like this. You can, if you, if you are here, you can say that you are at zero one seven zero two nine rare upper corner. You do not need to use the exact uh, number uh, or the eight digit code. Because that should be pretty self-explanatory. But with a mortar or an airstrike and stuff like that, then you need to be a bit more specific. So, to find out what position this is, then you have to either just look at the map, and it will be, this down here will be uh, 0, and this will be 10, and from there, at the middle, it will be 5. And here will be 5, 0, and 10 up here. And that might be very hard to understand. So what you want to do to understand a bit better, you have to get the map tools. That's an item that you have to put in uh, in your backpack with the arsenal. To open this up, you have to press uh, Control Windows, and you will get this thing up. Um, to open it up, click Map Tools, Show Normal Map Tool. And this one is pretty large, and you don't need this large uh, map tool. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the small version of the map tool instead. And it's a bit smaller, and it's a bit more handy for us. So, we are in this square here. What we're going to do, we're going to line the map tool up like this, just like this. And then, since we are in uh, this square, we can now uh, just p 
copy this up here instead. And then we can see that uh, we want the mortar at one, two, three, and say four. Because that's four. And then we have the count up here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So what we find out now that it is at grid four, four inside of this square. So if you want to call in a mortar now, what we want to say, we want to first say the number up here. Zero, one, seven. And then we will say the number which is here, and that will be four. So zero, one, seven. Then zero, two, niner, four. Because it was four here, and it was four here. So, basically, this is six digits code. And just a square is zero one seven two no zero two nine and that's basically this and this is zero one seven four zero two nine four so what you want to do is that you want to say those three numbers that are on this line here and then you want to say and the numbers that are here and then you want to say this one and then the numbers here and uh, to make another example we could um, say we, we're gonna take this square over here uh, the chords will then be uh, 0 4 3 Zero four three zero two four and that is this square here. Um and if you want to go more into depth, I can show you guys this one more time. So you're gonna count up from zero up to ten and from zero here up to ten. So this would then be probably zero four three five and then it looks like it's maybe six at this line at this like this way so then i think what i should then say is zero two four six but that could be a bit hard so what you could do is to set up the numbers here uh, Put a number here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But that will take a lot of time if you want to do that on each freaking square. So let's use the map tool again. Then let's check. We're going to be at this square here. Drag the map tool down. And then we can count. So. We have to be exactly there. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it was five, I had correct. Then we will count upwards, which is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, as you guys can see, it is between five and six. And what you should do then, is just take the one that is closest. And f like it looks now, it looks like six is closer then five is closer. Um, so I will then say that the, if you want the mortar strike exactly here, we'll then say uh, zero, four, three, five, zero, two, four, six. And then they will know exactly their position. And that's basically it. That's basically how you use the map and the map tools. And it is pretty simple. And if you guys have any questions you can ask on a discord or ask on a training or just ask someone that know how to do it and i know a lot of members uh, doesn't know this because they uh, don't really care to join the trainings and 
uh, I recommend you guys to join the trainings and then yeah you guys can also help others uh, and as you guys can see it's it's a bit hard to understand at the first like first time but when you have done this for like two or three times you will you will understand it pretty good um, and I learned this three days ago and uh, I'll probably say that I'm pretty good at it now um, stuff like that and what you will do is that this line will be uh, the box that are to the right so that number will be uh, the square that are on the right of it and this number will be the square that is over it and therefore some people are for example saying that this square is called the uh, say say if you would be here then they would say that since you're closer to 044 they will call it 044 but technically 044 is this square over here um, that's for that yeah, that's why you should then say the exact uh, eight digit grid if you want to be specific and don't say the number that are the wrong number because if people are starting to looking for you in this square and you are over here it's gonna take some time before they see you so if you guys have any questions go ahead ask them on discord or down in the comments if you guys want the fastest response then go over to our discord and we will help you guys there um, and if you if there's anyone that is watching this video which is not a part of the last battalion then I hope this tutorial was good for you and um, you're more than welcome to join uh, the last battalion uh, the armored tree uh, unit that we have uh, so if you guys have a uh, uh, not subscribe yet then you should maybe do that and uh, if you like this video it would be pretty nice if you would uh, like it and if you didn't like it then go ahead and dislike it but do what you want to do so I hope this drill was good for you guys and it wasn't that pretty long it was around 12 minutes and I hope uh, it wasn't too much information uh, for you guys and uh, yeah have a good day everyone and uh, yeah see ya